All right, in this quick tip video, I'm going to show you how you can take all the modifiers that are on one object and apply them to the rest of the objects that you select. All right, now I'm going to zoom in just a little bit on this so you can see what effect the modifiers have on this. And I have a bevel modifier and a subdivision surface modifier. If I turn on the bevel modifier, you see what happens. It bevels the edge just like you would think. Subdivision surface modifier smooths it out. All right, now if I go to any one of these other objects, there's no modifiers on them. They're just, you know, basic objects. But if I select this object, and then if I circle select, the rest of these objects keeping this one as the active one the one with the lighter color uh, surrounding it I can press control L control L to bring up this and then click on modifiers and it will take all the modifiers that are currently active on this object and apply it or not really apply it but carry it over to these objects likewise like if I was to press control Z to undo what I done suppose with this object I just want to carry over the bevel I can turn off the bevel on that one and then press C for circle select select the rest of them keeping this one as the active object keeping this one as the active object my finger slipped and then uh, press control L and then click on modifiers and then it carries over the bevel but not the subdivision surface because the subdivision subdivision surface on this object was disabled and like I have done before now let me go ahead and turn both of them on and then circle select select these and then press control L and click modifiers now it carries over the subdivision surface also all right now I can also do the same thing with the colors press control L and then choose materials and then it ca carries over the materials from this one but anyway anyway that's it have any questions leave a comment later